Easter Island, a 65 square mile speck in the Pacific Ocean. The people here called it the end of land. They built a new society and devoted themselves to carving massive monuments called moai, giant heads and torsos three stories high. But centuries ago, it changed. The great stone cutters vanished and the civilization collapsed. Now, the island and its iconic statues risk being lost forever. Easter Island, or Rapa Nui, is the most isolated inhabited place on Earth. 1,200 miles to the west are the tiny Pitcairn Islands. 2,400 miles to the east is the coastline of South America. Yet, for the people who discovered and populated this island, such vast distances may have easily been crossed. Some scholars believed that the island was settled by groups from the east, in what is now Peru. Stonework and artifacts appear similar in both places. In 1947, Norwegian explorer Tor Heyerdahl sailed his famed straw raft westward from South America to prove the journey was possible. He traveled over 4,300 miles, but still did not convince skeptics. Others maintained that Rapa Nui was simply the easternmost satellite of a vast Polynesian culture. But bones don't lie. They hold genetic markers, DNA. And DNA evidence confirms that the first people to settle this isolated island were Polynesians. Early Polynesians were among the greatest seafaring cultures in human history. The wind, waves, and sky were their only guides. Yet they colonized the atolls of the South Pacific thousands of years before Columbus sailed to the New World. Beginning in Taiwan, they reached the Philippines by the fourth millennia BC. From there, they continued eastward across the sea. One third of the surface of the planet is occupied by the Pacific Ocean. And they developed you know, the technology, the craft, to be able to across these large expanses of ocean, looking for land. And it was ingrained in their own sociopolitical and religious structure to do so. Radiocarbon dating from early construction suggests they reached Rapa Nui somewhere between 500 and 1000 AD. What probably began as a single landing party grew over the generations into a number of large hereditary clans. Up to 20,000 people may have lived here at the civilization's peak. They built homes throughout the island and great platforms for the famous statues called Moai. Nearly 1,000 of them were hand-carved and transported throughout the island. These imposing figures testify to a once great civilization with extraordinary engineering prowess. Then, the carving stopped. Something went wrong. The secrets to what happened may live deep within this island paradise. Easter Island was formed from three volcanoes. They have been overlapping eruptions over millennia that now make the island more like Swiss cheese with many holes formed by lava tubes in the subterranean rocks. The lava tubes formed numerous caves, which may reveal the island's mysteries. 
One cave held a large cache of ancient palm nuts. But no such trees grow on the island today. Scientists concluded that they had come from a giant palm tree that went extinct some 600 years ago. About the time, things here seem to have changed for the worse. Root patterns still in the soil and ancient pollens found at the bottom of lakes all point to the same thing. Evidence that this was once paradise, rich in flora, covered by forest. The findings reveal a dramatic change as the island was deforested. <laughs> 